In this video tutorial, you'll learn how to install and set up the W3 Total Cache plugin in WordPress for beginners. So, caching is a very important aspect of a website. It can help you increase the speed of your website and much more. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use the W3 Total Cache plugin to improve your website speed. In your WordPress dashboard, go to Plugins. Then click on Add New. And in the search bar, type W3 Total Cache and press Enter. This is the plugin. Click on Install Now to start the installation. Make sure that you only have one caching plugin on your website. When the installation is complete, this button changes to Activate. So click on it to activate the plugin. And then once the plugin is activated, you get redirected to the plugins page. So if you notice, you'll see the performance icon on your dashboard. Go to the icon and click on General Settings. Now we'll configure the plugin settings. Click on the Page Cache section. Click on Enable Page Cache. And then pick the Disk Enhanced method. This process reduces server load and shows a cached copy of the page to the visitor. So the next setting we're going to configure is the Browser Cache. Every time a user visits your site, their browser downloads all images, CSS files, and JavaScripts into a temporary folder. So if the user goes to another page, the next page loads much faster. So we want to enable browser cache. Then click on Save. And then go to Performance. And click on Browser Cache. You want to pretty much enable all of these settings. Except the 404 error. And then click on Save. Back in the General Settings. The next setting is CDN, which stands for the Content Delivery Network. And you want this set up for the delivery of your static content from multiple cloud servers rather than just one hosting server. We recommend using Max CDN for this setting. Next, we'll look at Minify. This honestly just reduces static file size, and it's not always a good idea to use. Check with your hosting provider whether it will help your website. The same thing is going to go for database cache. That reduces the server overload by caching SQL queries. Smaller sites don't really need this, so you might actually be better off without it. Now, object caching will help you if you have a highly dynamic website. However, most sites are not dynamic, so you can probably just ignore this area too. Once you have everything set up, scroll down to the bottom of the page. Here you can back up your settings and export them for safekeeping. And that's it. This is how you can install and set up the W3 Total Cache plugin in WordPress. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.